Are you working in technology? Do you want to come to Saudi? Do you want to work in a tech job inside Saudi? Then I have made this video just for you. My name is Ahmed Mushtaq and I make videos on business, tech and jobs inside Saudi. So if you'd like to know more, hit the subscribe button. So a couple of months ago, I made a video on how to find a job inside Saudi. You can watch that video if you're not working in tech. I might share the link in top section of this part. But if you want the link to that video, let me know in the comment section. I would love to share that link as well. But for those of you who are working in tech, you clearly have an advantage over others. So for tech knowledge workers, I have an advice for you to start working remotely for Saudi companies. And I will tell you why. By tech workers, I mean anyone who might be working in digital marketing, is a programmer, is a designer, or anyone who can work on a laptop or on a computer and doesn't have to meet someone in person. So that is in my definition, a tech knowledge worker. So back to the part where I've given you an advice to start working remotely, even if you're thinking to start in a real time job inside Saudi. So coming to Saudi is not easy. Let's take an example. If a Saudi company agrees to bring you in Saudi by giving you an official job offer, what is the process? And since I run a business here, I can tell you it's a troublesome process. Even though things are digitized, I still wonder how people used to issue visas like a decade ago when things were not online. Now imagine if an employer agrees to give you a job offer and bring you to Saudi, he needs this much motivation to go through all those obstacles he will face to issue a visa for you. Now I know that big companies have their dedicated visa departments and HR departments that can take care of this stuff, but still it's a hassle and I'm going to tell you why. So first of all, to arrange a visa, they have to go through this point system called Nakatat where they have to have enough Saudis in their company in order to issue new visas. That is a huge problem for a lot of companies here. Small or big companies, doesn't matter. And let's say even if they arrange a visa for you, they have to go through all that hassle of Ministry of Labor and agreements and arrange for your insurance and whatnot. Now, don't Get me wrong and don't get demotivated. There are still so many companies issuing visas for so many people out there, but it's a competitive process. And I'll give you an advice where you can get ahead and get your visa process very soon, inshallah. So my advice to you is to increase your chances of success to have or convince a company to issue a visa for you. You can start working for them remotely. You can ask them that, all right, I do have the right skills and talent. I can start working for you, you don't have to issue a visa and I am disciplined enough. You just give me assignments and I will work from my home for you. As long as I'm delivering results to you, you should be fine. Now, basically what would happen is that you're making a company dependable on you and you're proving your worth to them. And while you're working for them for months, maybe years, they will become loyal to you. And of course, you have to show loyalty in the start in order to expect loyalty from them. And once you have proved your worth through results and a vacancy does arrive in a company, they will surely issue a visa for you. Now, again, I don't speak on behalf of companies, but I am telling you from experience. So you might be thinking that Ahmed is making all this up from thin air. Trust me, I'm not. I'm telling you this from experience. I have my university friends who found remote jobs in Saudi. They worked for companies for one year or two years. And then, mashallah, 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 they were rewarded with full-time job offers, with visas. And now they're here, happily working. And they have also brought their families to Saudi. If you're curious to know what my friends did to find remote jobs in Saudi, do let me know in the comment section. And I would love to make videos on these topics. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.